welcome back to my shop. Um, Rockler sent me this. It's their new glue kit. And I was uh, really happy with their glue brush. Um, I use their glue brush all the time. And so I had them send me this to give a quick review on. Um, so I'm basically going to review this based on how much I like the other one. I decided to go ahead and give this one a shot. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Oh, they taped it. There we go. Okay, so we have a lot of parts, a lot of parts. Um, um, here's the glue bottle. It's a little smaller um, than I'm used to. I use these, which are uh, ketchup, mayonnaise, and uh, mustard container. I got them at a dollar store, all three for a dollar. Um, they're good for glue. Um, and I use one, I put water in it for when I'm at the sharpening, when I'm sharpening at my whetstones. Um, not bad for a dollar. Only has the one point. And if they get messed up, you know, 33 cents. Um, but this has some added features, right? And the reason I, I went with this is it's the added features to this bottle, right? I could just put on this cap, right? And have a glue bottle, right? Could just do that. And I like that I have that feature. I could also put on this cap. And this I like. It's flat, right? That's nice for getting down into, into tenons or uh, into mortises, right? And so I could put the tenon down in there. Um, good for laying a nice flat bead. And I like that. And I like that it also comes with a cap. That's a really good, that's a really good way to um, apply that. Now I'm real happy with their glue brushes and this is the piece that really sold me. Um, this piece here is um, basically their glue brush but attached to a bottle. It's a never-ending glue brush and this is what really interested me and uh, it's built with the same silicone that the glue brushes are. Um, glue comes right off of them. And I thought this would come in handy. This can go on. Right? And allow me to do wide panels. Right? I could take a wide board and really glue that up. And that was another feature. Um, one of the things, I, and I didn't realize it when I ordered it, but I saw it later in a catalog, is, is this feature here. Right. So we could put either either one of these in there. All right, we'll do this one. And by turning it, we automatically center the bead in the board. So if you're doing a lot of a lot of joints, right? No problem. Whatever your size is, turn and it will center center the bead, right? Pretty pretty easy, right? So it's a good set. I think it's pretty good. Um, we'll try it over time. But I'm gonna have to say I think I'm pretty pretty happy with this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some tight bond in here for the test, right? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead try this, right? I'm squeezing Oh, that works really good. That works really good. I mean, that's a lot of glue. But if I stop squeezing, I can just use it to spread it out. And then when I'm ready to apply, oh, wow. I really like that. Um, that works really good. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll give this a shot. a 
bead right up the center. That works really good. So last one I want to check is the roller. So let's go ahead. If I have any glue left. There we go. So I'm running out of glue, but that also I like because you can you can just kind of keep going. Right? I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with all of these. Um, I think they're working really well. Uh, one of the other things we'll test is I'm going to go ahead and let them dry. Now one of the things I'm a little worried about is I can put the lid in that. This we could put the lid on, right? But I'm a little worried about the glue drying up in there. Um, they do give you a tool. To clean, to clean it out, right, which is good. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take this in and rinse it off. And I think really that's all you need. Um, this one here, I will go ahead and just let that dry. We'll test that and we'll test this one when it dries. And uh, you know, the roller as well as the, the thing, we'll go ahead and we'll let them dry. There's glue on here. It's a little hard to get off, actually. Um, and granted, it's been on here a really long time. Oh, there we go. So you can peel it off. It's a little trickier on this. Let's try this. Pull the whole thing out. It's coming apart. Yeah. It came clean. No problem. Pulled right off. That came right off. Pulled one of the things off, though. But probably shouldn't wait two months. But all in all, I think they did a good job, and I'm pleased with it. I'm pleased with it. So, um... I think it's a good addition to my shop. wasn't crazy expensive, but it does does help out. I recommend it. I think it's it's a good product. I really like the brush, and uh, I think this is a good thing to have around. So, till next time. Thanks for watching.